welcome to all of you and a heartfelt namaste i and radha would like to thank all of you for liking sharing subscribing to our videos and youtube channel and writing in your comments and suggestions there today we are going to talk about divisional charts in particular we're going to talk about mercury in a pair of divisional charts to begin with we have always been talking about one single divisional chart from here on we move on to synthesizing a couple of needed much needed divisional charts together and seeing an importance of a planet that is there so how do we synthesize uh, the divisional charts the first pair that i'm taking here in the series is the d10 and the d why they two is a question here now so generally we have people coming over and asking that you know we uh, the profession that we are in do i go will i get a lot of money here and how does how will it uh, work out the profession mm -hmm. is d10 so do you go high up in your profession do you accumulate a lot of name and fame in your profession when is the time when your profession will take out break or when is it a time when there will be a sudden change in your profession when is it that you will leave a job probably hunt for another or you go overseas to take a job all these questions can be answered through the d10 when it comes to money it is important to understand that we need to check the d2 chart very closely because money is governed by the d2 chart i take the lav mandu kora that is uh, another way of seeing the d2 <clears throat> there are many uh, ways of seeing the d2 so the lav mandu kora gives an exact uh, way of how you how the planets in the houses uh, react to the <clears throat> this is your call for money now the one planet that is very important for money is saturn and i have made a divisional chart video on saturn <clears throat> and how it which houses it relates to from where money can come in the d2 hora is uh, and that video is very much there in our divisional charts playlist so if you want to watch that you can do that today we are going to talk about mercury a very ignored planet as such i've always felt like this that we are very afraid of rahu ketu or saturn and we are very jubilant about venus or um, jupiter and we always have an awe for the sun but a planet that is a little subdued not much uh, looked upon is mercury but do you know that what fall dipika uttar kalamrita bphs all fall mercury buddhi that is why it's called buddh buddhi or buddh is the discriminatory mind that we have the one that questions the right and the wrong the one that talks about the profit or the loss and then comes to a decision so this discriminatory mind is very important when we come to our profession are we doing things right are we moving in the right direction is this the step that i need to take for my career is very important when we see a d10 so this is the saturn i had also made a video and said that it's about the government organization do watch that one also coming back to mercury the mercury is important if your mercury is well placed in the d10 it gives you a strong mind and in Uh, where you are able to take calls calculated risks because you know what you are doing and you have thought it well in your mind let's move to the d2 and mercury in the d2 mercury is again important let's not forget mercury is a part of the artha trikona it gets exalted in virgo which is the sixth sign of the natural zodiac an earthy sign and forms a part of the artha trikona mercury represents trade and commerce and mercury also represents all those para apara vidya that is the knowledge which is of use on this earthly plan or knowledge that you get for your regular studies and it's also to do all with all the knowledge that is important for your trade and commerce what more mercury represents money so people who have a good mercury also know how to manage their finances and their budgets 
Okay, so mercury in the D2, again, if it's well placed, then it makes, ensures that whenever you need the money, you have money and money there in plentiful. So this is also related to Deshkal Patra. Another thing that crops up here is people say that the number of people, you know, uh, for example, Dhirubhai Ambani or our current Prime Minister, Mr. Narendra Modi, all these people come from humble backgrounds. So how is it that the chart would show or it would be a, since we know about their lives, yes, then we are take, we are doing a, a backtrack. No, it's not that. Their chart will show the possibilities. Throughout the scriptures, it has been mentioned that it is a science of probabilities. The chart shows that you do have the yogas in your chart. But then the dashas come in, the transits come in. And when the transits and the dashas synchronize with the chart, are you using those time frames, those periods to the best of their abilities? If you are using them to the best of their abilities, you climb a great height. That is why Dr. B.V. Raman very clearly stated that fools are governed by planets and wise men use them. So having said this, we see that mercury is very important when it comes to the D2 and the D10 chart because it give us, gives us in the D2 a mind that would know how to budget, the mind that would know how to make money, study uh, for practical uses that you can see from D24 also. And you can also then take up D10 and see if mercury is good and strong in that chart that means you would be able to take calculated risks in your career make the right kind of moves let's take the chart of warren bit so if you are taking the chart of warren buffet in that case we let's see the d1 chart first when we because the d1 chart shows all the promise that there is and from that the other charts follow through so in the D1 chart, Mercury is exalted with the 11th Lord. So yes, that 11th Lord is debilitated. But Venus um, here is also being, uh, is in the Vipreet Rajyog. So it's good to begin with. And this exalted Mercury gives him a great mind to begin with, a strong discriminatory mind. Another thing that he has a very beautiful combination in this chart is Jupiter and Mars in the seventh house. It is a radio also. And this Mars also aspects Mercury, giving him a very sharp mind. What more? Mercury is in Hasta Nakshatra, which means that his money is something that he's made on his own. Let's move ahead with the D2 and the D10 charts. In the D2 chart, we see again Mercury is exalted, aspected by the second Lord Saturn. And it is also aspected by uh, Mars. So it means that he would be able to make a lot of money with a strong power of discrimination, but he would also be under a lot of stress about how to make a money. And yes, the world of finance is quite, the corporate world is quite stressful. Let's not forget that. When we come to his D10 chart, again, Mercury for him is the 10th Lord and the 7th Lord with the fifth lord in the ninth house it's a strong raj yoga again in his this chart and it gives is aspected by jupiter which talks about the blessings that he would have in his business i take another chart so uh, we're clear on that point it's a chart of dhirubhaya mani mercury here is the seventh and the tenth lord in the twelfth house so generally we would say that yes he's likely to lose uh, out on a lot of contracts he started 12th house also talks about uh, foreign shows. He started his work from the foreign shows. So there he used up that energy. I always keep telling people that we need to use the energy in a right direction. And then we talk about uh, Mercury again in his D2 chart. It's beautiful to see and synchronize this Mercury in his D2 chart, though is again aspected by Mars, but is exalted and it is with two benefits, unconditional benefits, Jupiter and Venus. And 
this jupiter also aspects the second house and saturn making sure that he works hard for his money and he makes his money the right way or he rather makes his money uh, in in dollops so to speak when we look at his d10 chart this mercury is with ketu and it is on the lagna it's a digbali mercury with ketu i just need to tell you that that mercury ketu can give a person a huge thinking power and a great intuition so this mercury which we generally tend to ignore for so many reasons needs to be looked upon with a lot more insight and in the divisional charts it has a lot to say till we meet again stay tuned and do write in to us and let us know how you found this video please hit Thank the bell you. icon for fresh updates don't forget to like share and comment on the videos and please subscribe to our channel